Hey Gabriel and Rosamond, California, just outside Edwards Air Force Base. This is Matthew, just uh, inside freeprescriptionlenses.com, or the lab at least. And I'm going to use my GoPro camera to show you how I cut non prescription fashion lenses for the Ray Ban 2140 Original Wayfair Color 901, which is the classic shiny black and the 50 eye size. I'm going to take everything out of the original packaging that you will be receiving that Ray Ban has sent to me your Italian leather Ray-Ban case, your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, and some junk mail telling you about all the icons from Ray-Ban, from the shooter to the clubmaster, the predator, and so on. And of course, the star of the show, the main attraction, the Ray-Ban original Wayfarer. It comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together while it is being shipped from Italy. So, let me take that off, and of course, you're gonna receive all of that too. This is the Ray-Ban 2140, color 901, which is the classic shiny black in the 50 eye size. This is the classic frame, the most famous frame in the world, at least the most famous frame in America, but definitely the world. It comes with the triple barrel hinges. You can almost run over this thing with a tank and it'll come out strong. So ahead of time, I've taken out your heavy glass breakable lenses. That is what glass sounds like. And I'm going to install lightweight, unbreakable, bulletproof lenses in its place. I'm going to take your frame and put it into the tracing L of my edger and hit trace. A little stylus is going to come up and it's going to go around and trace the shape of the right lens and do the same thing for the left lens. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine, authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision lenses, or in your case, non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if these are prescription or not, which is not in your case, you can get reimbursed from your insurance company or if you have unused flex dollars. So, normally this is when I would type in the pupillary distance, but because these are non-prescription, it does not matter. This is also the time I would take your lenses, put them into my lensometer to get them oriented but I will not be doing that because these are non-prescription. I'm going to take them out of the protective leaves of the lens sleeves that they are shipped to me in and it comes with a little plastic laminate on the front of the lens that protects the lens from anything rubbing against it during shipping. I'm going to take that off and put that on the packet and I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. When you unbox these it'll be the same way. It'll have this little laminate onto your lenses. But I'm going to take the first lens and place it on the platform of the blocker. Speaking of blocker, this is called a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. This is what's going to hold it in place in the, in the lathe. So I need to take two double-sided adhesive stickers. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick that onto the first block and place that block up on the platform. And just grab the second block. Put that on there. Now on the back is a little silver button. That is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice today and it's about to do the first job. But I'm going to pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. But that magnet is going to hold it in place in the arm. Now you can see the outline of the lens as long as I can place this anywhere. I can rotate it left and right. It's not going to matter with your prescription. But I'm going to hit that button and now the arm is going to place the block onto the right lens. Of course, this could be the left or the right since these are non-prescription. Let's take your left lens, do the same thing. It flips over, it mirrors the pupillary distance of the right, which does not matter today. And I'm going to take, pull the paper off to make the black side sticky. Make sure the lens is centered properly. Hit the button and now it's going to apply the block to the left lens. So. This is the actual edger. This is what costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out and buy their own. Then you won't have to listen to me cut your lenses for you. But the actual cutting wheel is over here on the far right. It's going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away the lens material. This wheel in the center with that channel, that little valley, that's what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. So I'm going to take the right lens. We're going to make this the right lens. That silver button, the magnet is going to do its job a second time now. It's going to hold it in place into the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I don't know the machine well enough to call it chuck. Grab my little stylus, pull up the shape of your lens onto the computer. That is it. 
I'm not going to polish the lenses. I'm not going to put a bevel on the front surface, the convex surface of the lens. I'm only going to put it on the rear concave surface of the lens. And I'm going to hit that green arrow, which is start in every language. The door closes, that clamp shuts. And then the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape. And the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness. Of course, being non-prescription, you're not going to have any edge thickness whatsoever. But the machine does not know the prescription ahead of time. But because I do cut prescription lenses for free when you buy the frame, that is more critical. Now, if you see light flickering in the background, that is water. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic and high-index plastic cut wet. The water is only there to collect the optical sawdust. So your lens has begun cutting. Your lenses are made out of polycarb, as I mentioned. These are the Essilor brand lenses. Essilor is the premium lens manufacturer out there. They call polycarbonate airwear because they think their lenses are as light as air. These are the Transition Signature 7 GY is gray lenses. Of course, why use abbreviations? You got the Transition Signature 7 there. You have Crizol Alizé anti-glare coating with UV protection. And we'll talk about the transition later, but let's talk about the polycarbonate. Polycarb is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. They are bulletproof up to 22 caliber, 22 caliber, and have both UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So this is permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, which probably happens quite a bit in California, but this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. So just a moment ago, your lens was flat, just like a nickel. Now it's getting the V-shaped bevel cut into the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Now, you have the Crizol anti-glare coating. Anti-glare is three features in one. The first feature is that it eliminates glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, overhead, computer lights, fluorescence. The second feature, it's a reflection-free lens. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses. They're, they're seeing just your eye, so it makes for much better eye contact. Plus, the number one reason people get it is because of selfies or if someone takes a picture with a flash, you don't see the flash lit up in your lens. You see just your eyes again. Now, the third feature that I like, the practical side, is it comes with the hardest scratch coating in the business. The machine that applies the anti-glare coating costs well over a million dollars. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize seven different coatings onto the lens. And so that's why they put the most premium scratch coating on there is to protect their time and investment. Now, I'm very skeptical this lens will fit in here. I know from experience this frame has a very deep bevel, but I'm going to try. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner. Using my thumbs, I try and press down at the nose. It doesn't want to go, so I'm going to pop it back out, place it back into the edger. And I'm going to take it down about two tenths of a millimeter, 0.20. And I'm going to hit the retouch button to all my American friends who have no clue what a millimeter is. It is the distance between my thumbnails. I'm going to take one fifth of that distance off going around the circumference of your frame until it snaps in there perfectly. Because I cut every pair of lenses that get shipped worldwide, I am a perfectionist. And I'm going to make sure everything fits perfectly. If the, frame, if the lenses were too large, it would cause the frame to stretch or to roll if you were to think of your frame as a gutter. If the lens were too large, it would force the bottom of the frame to bend outward, roll outwards. And that is what's called rolling. It gives you an ugly cosmetic look as well as shortening the life of the frame. But again, since I am a perfectionist, you want someone like me who's going to cut every pair of lenses for you. So again, the safety bevel is being applied to the rear surface of the lens. Now again, this is the most famous pair of sunglasses in the world. We're taking out the heavy breakable lenses. 
I have gotten several, e several emails from people who have told me that, like for instance, someone was walking with their nephew past someone who was weed eating. The weed eater threw up a rock. It hit them in the lens, and the only reason they still have vision is because they were wearing my unbreakable lenses. If this lens were to crack and break and come into the eye as it would, it would cut your eye. You have seven different layers of the cornea. The outside layer will heal if it goes beyond that, which is very likely to do. The other six layers will never heal. You lose your vision, game over for the rest of your life. So I tuck the lens in at the outside corner. Using my thumbs, press down at the nose and then the bottom and it snaps in perfectly. Let's go ahead and take your left lens, flip that over to L. Put that into the chuck and hit start. Just like before, the door will close, the clamp will shut. And then the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around. And as always, measuring the thickness of the lens to know exactly where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness possible. Of course, you're not going to have any with this frame because these are non-prescription lenses. But this block is no longer needed. I'm going to pull that off and I'm going to come down here to my lensometer just to verify that these are non-prescription. Put that in, check the power and I'm getting zero. No prescription whatsoever. I just want to verify that. So your left lens has begun cutting. As you can see from one of my prescription lenses I have behind me and for everyone out there, I stock thousands of lenses. So anyone needs prescription. But you can see now how the lights reflect off of this lens but does not reflect off of yours. So that's going to give you a premium, premium look. Of course, this frame sells for $155. The, you get clear lenses for free or prescription lenses for free simply by buying the frame from me. You pay the $50 to upgrade to Transitions and then you pay the other $40 to upgrade to Crizal. So. It is 245 total. So the edge of the lens is no longer flat. You're getting the knife-like bevel. Very dull knife like myself, but it's a knife-like bevel nonetheless. Your lens is going to be so sharp that you might be able to cut through a piece of wet tissue, providing that you soak the tissue in a bucket of water overnight and then press down really hard. You might be able to cut through the tissue with the edge of your lens. So in just a moment, this little lever is going to come out. At the end of that lever is a spinning wheel, something you would find at the end of a Dremel tool. That's what's going to apply the safety bevel to the rear concave surface of the lens. Now in just a moment, I will open this door with my mind. You like that? I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. It just takes a couple hours, but I can do it. That's my superhuman ability. So, make sure there's no optical sawdust on the back of the lens. Let's go ahead and place it, tuck it into the outside corner. And using my thumbs, I press down at the nose. It snaps right in. Off pops the block because of the anti-glare coating. Now, this is the point in every video that I'm going to make sure they're in standard alignment and of course Gabriel when you receive these in the mail and free shipping anywhere in the United States but when you get these in the mail there's a small chance that these could be too loose or too tight however there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that is because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other and I am no exception and I'll show you in just a moment but because of that statistic 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So just stop by your local shop and just tell them if it's too loose or too tight or high on one side. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to get them adjusted. But I'm going to do get them in standard alignment first, also known as the three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I'm going to set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, 
I take mine off. I have one ear that is higher than the other. So when I press down on mine, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home today, I'm wearing the Versace 3199 in color 5118, which is the dark blue with Havana. Havana is just a fancy word for saying tortoise. Let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. Flip these over, press down, there is no wobble. I close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. Let me go ahead and clean these off real quickly. Now, I include instructions for you on how to care for not only your eyeglasses and lenses, but for the cleaning cloths that you will get, the Ray-Ban cleaning cloth. And of course, I'm gonna provide you with one of my cleaning cloths, and I always field test them to make sure they work perfectly. I don't wanna send you a defective cloth. I wanna make sure that it cleans perfectly for you. But I give you instructions on how to care for your Ray-Ban case and both cleaning cloths so they will last you for years. But this is what they also include a selfie request to have your picture on the website. Gabriel, please keep me in mind for that. I'd love to have you model these. But if this is what they look like clear, I'm going to go ahead and activate them in my little transitions box here in the corner. Now, as you can see, it takes about 20, I'm sorry, 30 to 45 seconds for transition lenses to darken when you go outside. It takes a little bit longer when you come back inside, about 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15 to return back to virtually clear. Now, Gabriel, pay attention. This is important. All transition lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first two weeks, providing that they're exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years with maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car, your windshield has UV protection to stop your upholstery from rotting, or your dashboard from cracking from sitting in the sun all day. That's why they won't turn dark in a car. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken or as soon as you step out of the car. They're also temperature sensitive, so they will get darker when it's 75 degrees and below than they will when it's 95 and above. I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. So this is the first time they've been activated. Don't worry, Gabriel, they're going to keep getting darker and darker. Come on, Gabriel, don't you remember? We talked about that. So if anyone has any questions, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or simply click the contact me button on the website. But Gabriel in Rosamond, California, hope you enjoyed watching as I cut prescription lenses for your Ray-Ban 2140, color 901, which is the classic shiny black in the 50 eye size. This frame also comes in a 54. But hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.